brought out a box from their car trunk and, and it had this guitar in it. And uh, what they didn't know was, well, first of all, a sweet gift. A schmo like me, somebody gives me a guitar. Uh, and nobody had ever done that to me. What they didn't know is that when I got it home and I took it out of the box to show my wife and my kids, is that it was broken. The neck had snapped um, right there at the headstock, if you can sort of take a look at it in the camera right there. It was completely snapped. It's just a shipping thing that happens with guitars. It's, uh, you know, it's just kind of a, it's pretty common, actually. Well, I know a guy uh, who uh, fixes guitars on the cheap, so I called him up and I said, hey man, can you uh, fix this guitar for me? It was a gift. It was a friend. But the sweetest gift I think anybody's ever given me. And uh, he said, sure. So he put it together. And this is the second reason why this guitar is my favorite instrument. Because it's been glued together. And every time that I play it, I'm reminded of my own relationship with God and where he's brought me from. And whether that this person who gave me this gift, they didn't anticipate this because they didn't anticipate it being broken when they gave it to me. But because the guitar is glued back together, it's actually stronger than if it was a single integrated original piece of wood. It's stronger now. Isn't that like what God does with our lives? I don't know about you, but when I became a Christ follower, I had a lot of issues. And it didn't exactly stop after I became a Christ follower. In fact, some things actually got harder before they got better. And I wish that I could stand here as a pastor at Cedar Creek. I know, a pastor with a pink bandana and a mohawk, who knew, right? I wish I could stand here as a pastor at Cedar Creek and tell you that my life has been a bed of roses since I became a Christ follower. It hasn't. But you know what has been good? Jesus has been good. He's in the fixing business. He took a schmo like me. He brought me out of complete darkness and blindness. I was going to hell. And he began a work to fix something and make it better than it would have otherwise been stronger. And that, as we sing this next song, is what I want to resonate in your hearts. We talk about God making us broken, God making us lonely, God making us empty of ourselves so that we can have more of Him. That's what He's after. He's after you and me. So that He can fix us and so that He can make something beautiful that sounds great and plays wonderful in His hands. So we'll sing the song. <laughs> 